I just found out that Europe and Africa doesn't have raccoons. They don't have skunks either. It's a wind cast or regular wood? Oh, it's just a stick. No, just a little piece of wood. Yeah, that one's not coming out. There's a globby little one. That was an interesting chunk. Alright, so this is a spot that's got just like a ton of jasper here. Um, I'm going to show you that one piece. There's some, just some red. Um, sometimes you'll find a little bit more of this mossy type stuff. Uh, but yeah, there's just a ton of jasper here. Some of it better than others. So we're just going to keep moving on and get to the next spot. How much do you think that thing weighs? Uh, it's like 20 pounds. Oh dude, not bad. Good color. Check out Rock Hound Quest. So this is the jasper that I actually look, like looking for. It's got those greens. It's pretty nice. I have to clean that one up to show you any better, but yeah, it usually turns out pretty well. All right, so this is the top. Now we're gonna take a little break, get some lunch, you know, drink some water, get hydrated, do all that fun stuff. We're gonna move a little bit further up the hill. So you can see here, this is some of the amygdaloidal basalt or whatever that's been worn out over the years. So we're at a good spot. We just need to keep going further. It's a pretty large mushroom. I'm not really sure what this one is, but I don't really want to disturb it much. Pretty cool though. I don't know. Uh, four inches, six inches. All right, well, I need to take a little breather here, but check that part out. A little seam, and then if you go down a little bit further, see a little bit more of that seam. It's starting to get thicker. And if you go down a little bit further, bang, a little bit, a little bit more, and that's starting to get blue. Here you can see another, you know, little seam. If you go over here a little bit more, it's starting to get a little bit thicker. And then a little more of it. You know, that's kind of what you're you're wanting to chase. Is just keep finding that until it gets big enough and quality enough. All right, there's a piece of green right there. Questy and I found a decent spot in the road here. You can see all those white spots. Yeah, like that. You now over there, there's some jasper. So we're just going to keep following the trail up and see if we can find anything decent. Just, uh, I, I always feel like this kind of stuff is like opaly, but not positive. I'll take this piece back and hit it with like UV, see if that helps me. Kicking this one because it looked like I could see a little bit of agate like that. And then uh, turn it over and look at that. Some quartz. But it also looked like there was more down in there. So pretty cool. Got to keep finding those seams. Piece of red and purple jasper. Not bad. That almost looks like. Wait a minute, is that, dude? Is that Carl? Oh, that might be Carl. Got a little piece of jasper over here.
All right. Another piece of road jasper. Oh, let's see if I can get it out. Not bad. Let's we'll see if we can get it. All right. I wonder if this is jasper as well. I'm gonna take a closer look. Yeah, that's a good one right here. That's good. That's real good. That's a massive piece. Awesome. Look at that red right there. That's deep. Yeah, it looks like we got more up in here too. Like right there. Got some right there. And look at that piece. Got another piece right here. really good jasper up here so I just found this one I think this might be some common opal so I think it's common opal reach the top well the next top I should say this spots pretty awesome I haven't been here much before so I definitely want to spend some time here all right looks like we got a little bit here just another thin seam good sign keep looking around a little bit of what I found so far just looks like a bunch of chalcedony at the moment mostly quartz in the center on this guy but there were some cool impressions I've wrote it out so I had some druzy and botryoidal kind of neat and a little bit of erosion pattern in there that was kind of cool we're definitely seeing fragments everywhere along this pass and so we're just going to keep going up that way and uh, show you what we find. Right, there we go. There's a decent piece. It's like quartzy. But that looks like it's got some moss in it. Nothing too special. Maybe a little bit of a cavity in there, but decent. That's a good sign. Dope. Oh, no crystal tooth. Yeah. It's cool. It's an example of some of the fragments that we're finding. You can see that they're definitely chalcedony, possibly agate vein, whatever. But they're just, there's a lot of them. And so we're trying to figure out where they're at. Where the big stuff. All right, so here's something interesting too. Now you see all this erosion here? And you see how it starts coming off in kind of like these sheets? That's where I want to start checking to see that if anything kind of eroded off down the hillside. You can see how you got this. And then it's going off into that canyon. You know, it's a ticket. Looks like we've got a little bit of seam right here. And then some more. You know. So these are just these fragments. But there's a good amount of them. Interesting rock up here. And I want to... Go check out that one. Kind of looks like a little bump. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Looks like we got a plate right here. One of the thin seams. Yeah. Really thin. Hey! You guys are going to love this part. Look at that. Pretty awesome, huh? Check this one out. There you go, there's some mossy. Kinda dirty, kinda beat up, but seems like we're getting thicker. It's a pretty good shot right there. Another little piece of quartz vein here. Looks like we got something else too. Maybe a little agate, some sorts. It's not bad. It's kind of funky looking. So, keep going uphill. There we go. That's something. That looks like we got a little color in there too. It's definitely agate. Let's see what those lines up in there. Yep. So, there's a few pieces of this new spot. As much as we'd like to check the canyon out, we just don't have the time for it today. We're gonna keep moving downhill instead and show you what we find there.
And you're thinking that's something as well. Oh gosh, yep. We're just, uh, we're walking around this trail here. And, uh, yeah, that's come around the bend. No, nah, that's not a rattler. It's Diamondback, right? No. A gopher snake, bro. Yeah, another big mushroom. Okay, so that was about a 10 mile hike today, maybe a little bit more, I don't know. Uh, we're pretty tired though. It's time to go get tacos and burritos and chocolate milk. Don't be scared, little chickens.